We need light to see. It bounces off everything around us and creates an image in our eyes. But can it do the opposite? Can light turn objects invisible? So I have a very fun experiment that I want to do today, and I was hoping you would help me out. It involves a little bit of science magic. Are you up for that? No problem. Bring it on. All right, so what we're gonna do is we've got some big old jugs of cooking oil here, and we're gonna pour them into these containers. In the middle of each container, there's just like a normal kitchen glass. Okay. All right, Aim for that. While we wait, when you go from running through the air to running into the water, you change speed and direction to keep going where you want to go in the shortest amount of time. It's the same with light. It moves fastest in a vacuum with nothing impeding its travel. Once light hits a dense medium, like this glass prism, it changes speed and direction. This simple property enables many ordinary items like eyeglasses and telescopes to function, but it also allows for optical trickery. Now be very mindful of what's happening on your side versus what's happening on my side. All right. Do you notice a difference between the two? What? Check it out. Where'd my glass go? Weird. I see your glass. I see mine too, but yours is completely gone. Like, I don't see it at all now. <laughs> Where did it go? What the hell happened to you? Are you sure that's cooking oil? It's like you disintegrated it. You, you can't even see it, can you? Honestly, yeah. Allow me to explain. Your glass is just a typical kitchen glass. My glass is made out of borosilicate. You know, cooking glass that can withstand high temperatures we can bake with it. It's common in kitchens and labs. The difference between the two is their refractive index. This is just a measurement of how readily light passes through a particular object. Light obviously passes through glass. Light obviously passes through cooking oil. You can see right through it. Mm -hmm. But in my case, the borosilicate glass has the same index of refraction as the cooking oil. So, oh, okay. And that renders it pretty much invisible. Wow. It's like that invisibility cloak, just gone. <laughs> so it's not really magic, it's science, but as Arthur C. Clarke famously said, any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic.